that he's going to use the Hebrew woman to bet Moses. <laughs> but the slave cannot mentor him for the role that God has prepared him to come and do. So he needed a princess mentor. He needed a princess mentor and that was why the daughter of Pharaoh had to be the one to find him. If God had left it like that, a life that is not filled with detour. Oh, you have your baby. Your baby is happy. The baby grows. A slave cannot speak to, he can't speak to kings. So he needed that princess mentor to teach him how to stand before kings and speak shoulder to shoulder. So it was already written, even though it was not said like it was written. That affliction is working in you, both to will and to do for God's good pleasure. That is what it is doing. So you need to be grateful to God that you are passing through that affliction. Yes, I know men may mock you. They may say your own is different. Is it only you? It is you that is going through this. It is you that is going through that. But count it all joy. Because all things will eventually work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that every good thing will work for you in the name of Jesus. Even those things that look like they are working against you, they will work for you in the name of Jesus. Let me continue to read that scripture. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. Another translation says she had compassion. Have you heard some babies cry and you are irritated? Like, can you go? <laughs> Mothers in the house, have you heard babies cry and you are irritated? Fathers in the house, have you heard babies cry and you are irritated? Like you don't even want to hear any cry at that time. You just want to have your own time. And this baby will just start crying and you want to say, stop it. But guess what? This particular baby was crying and she felt compassion. This month, my God will bring you into the company of people that will favor you. Once they see you like this, they will just have compassion over you. Once they hear your story, they will just have compassion over you. You will not need to open your mouth or speak or say anything. I mean, this baby cried. Maybe you may need to open your mouth. But as you say a word, they will just have compassion over you in the name of Jesus. You see all those applications you have written to the embassy. When they open your file, they will just have compassion over you in the name of Jesus. That yes you are expecting. That promotion you are expecting. This week, you receive it in the name of Jesus. So this daughter of Pharaoh... Just had compassion. Is my time truly up? Okay. She had compassion over him. Then guess, this is it though. This is one of the Hebrews baby, she said. So she understood that the baby was supposed to die. But she had compassion. I understand that the wages of sin is death. But the grace of God will speak over your situation. I understand that people who do not have certain qualifications do not mean to sit on certain seats. But my God would have compassion. My God will make a bot that will favor you in the name of Jesus. Senior pastor usually shares this testimony of a guy who went to computer village to just go learn certain things. I think he was just learning certain things. And they needed his knowledge for a bigger role. He didn't have the certification. He didn't have BSc, B Engineering, you know, MSc and all that. But he had the experience. From the place of affliction, there are certain things you have learned. I decree and I declare that what those things that you have learned, what it is needed for, my God will raise you to that level in the name of Jesus. So that when you speak, people will know that you are speaking from the place of experience. My God will give you power in the name of Jesus because of what you have gone through. Because of what you have gone through. You need to count it all joy that you are going through what you are going through. See, when, when I... Had a ba um, when I had my first two children out of wedlock, it looked as if I, won't, I will not get a man that will marry me because, you know, all men are looking for single girls and all Christian men are looking for single virgins. What is, oh, are you not looking for single virgins? Uh, maybe you, you have lived your life anyhow. You are not looking for single virgins you know now so normal human brain girls will be like ah babe 
We that we have seen, we are single self. We have not found husband. It is you. It's not even one baby. <laughs> two babies. It is you with two babies that you want to see husband. <laughs> so me, I'll just look at my life. <laughs> okay. So I decided that this marriage thing, I don't think it's for people like me. Let me just leave it. At least I have a good job. My life is going well and I have children. I have people calling me mommy. So I was just living my life. I was living my life, you know. You know, I don't know if anybody knows that level. Self-love. Have you been in that level where you be like, oh, I beg, I don't want to allow with all these guys. Let me just live my life. Self-love. I was in that level, though. Self-love level. That's how that man just came. I just asked me out. I'm like, I'm three in one, if you, <laughs> if you don't mind. You know, and people be like, ah, you're still doing shakara. You're doing shakara. Those of us that were single, we've not seen us. You're doing shakara. He said, let me do the shakara. I didn't even know that that's what God has made ready for me. So when people be like, ah, she has children. My husband goes, that is one of the reasons why I love her. You see, that bot in your life will be the reason why you qualify. In the name of Jesus. So when I stand to speak to single mothers and I tell them that my God will give you your own divine compensation. I know what I'm saying. I'm not seeing it from the way other people see it. I'm seeing it from the God that is able to give you your own divine compensation. So when I speak, I'm not speaking from uh, knowledge by the book. Or uh, somebody said something, something. I have been there. I have walked through. And I am still standing. And I decree and declare over your own marital destiny. My God will come through for you in the name of Jesus. Eyes have not seen nor hear have. Neither has it entered into the heart of man. That which my God has made ready for you. Receive your own divine compensation in the name of Jesus. So when I started waiting for the fruit of the womb. And I saw how chilled my husband was. I decided to take rest in the finished work. Because I know that there must be something that is holding him for 21 years. My own waiting was five years. It's nothing compared to the waiting of somebody that is 10 years. 20 years. Can you beat that? Would you still open God after 10 years? Would you still believe that you carry your own baby after 15 years? Or would you change your name? Would you claim the name that the devil wants you to claim? Would you call yourself barren? Would you give up or would you try more? Would you try more? I want to encourage you today to keep trying. The Bible says keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking and it will be open to you. So I'm encouraging you this morning to keep asking. What is that thing that you're expecting God for? Ask. What is that thing that you expect to see? Seek. What is that door that you expect to be open for you? Keep knocking. It will be open for you. Now, guess what? This is where I'm going. She had compassion over him. She knew who he was. So it's not as if God will confuse the person that will help you. They will know who you are. They will know your qualification. They will know that you are a single mother. In fact, they will know that you don't have BSc. It doesn't matter. You see, if your history is needed in your future... It will not be in your history. God has a plan for everybody. Where he was taking Moses to was for him to deliver the children of Israel from the Egyptians. So he needed to bet him as a slave. Yes, because he has to be an Israelite. But he also needed a mentor to mentor him. Mothers, you need to know when to let go. You see, that child that you have in your hand, you need to understand that you are not the only one that needs to, you know, position that child for purpose. Sometimes the child needs a mentor. I mean, for days like this, for some of us, Mother's Day is Mentor's Day. Because where our mother stopped was where the mentor picked it up from. And they positioned us in places, you know, strategic places. That's the same thing that Naomi told Ruth. He said, oil your skin. Stand by the bed cover your feet. That was all. She had been in the game long enough to know how to position her. And she did. And even Ruth listened. Haka Baba. Listen to me. There are places where you get to what you need to get to the next level is a mentor. Mentor to just see. I'm 
telling you, a mentor that is, you know, I'm not saying a mentor that is woke, a mentor that is educated, a mentor that has the knowledge of the technical know-how of what you are, where you are going. They may not be the one to bet you or milk you. Yes, it was Moses' mother that bet him. She was the one that milked him, but she didn't make him. There are platforms you need in order for your purpose to be elevated. It has nothing to do with things that you can do. It has nothing to do with your money. It has nothing to do with your qualification or anything. My God will bring you into the company of people that matter to your destiny in the name of Jesus. And that which you are expecting to achieve, with their help, you would achieve it in the name of Jesus. I say with their help, you would achieve it in the name of Jesus. Now, this is where mothers need to let go. Don't be... What's the word? Eh? Yeah, apart from being overly possessive, you know, mothers will now become envious. Don't be envious. Your job is done. I mean, you were there to make the baby. Your job is done. Allow the mentor mold the baby. You are there to bet the baby. You may not be the one to mold the baby. And God, who has sent people, they are like angels to come into your life and mold you. When they mold you, don't get on your eye horses and feel that you got here by your strength. You didn't get there by your strength. God has a definite plan for you and he will do everything. If you are supposed to be the president in order for you to achieve the purpose, I don't care where you are from, I don't care where you have been, you will be the president. It's not even a prayer. It is a fact. Anything that you need to do, in order for you to amount to that place. See, greatness is an undercover. There is so much greatness on our inside. Everybody. But you need somebody to pull it out. You need somebody to pull it out. You need somebody to pull you out. This morning, my God will link you up with that person. That needs to pull out the greatness in you. Out for the world to see in the name of Jesus. I say, my God will pull out the greatness that is in you. For the world to see in the name of Jesus. So don't give up on yourself. If you're in your 30s now and you do not have it figured out, guess what? Moses was in his 40s before he had it figured out. If you're in your 20s and you're wondering, what's my purpose? I don't know what my purpose is. Or you're in your 30s and you see Forbes 30 under 30. Forbes 40 under 40. Scratch that. You don't need that. If you need that, you would have achieved it. See, Kamala Harris, the vice president of America, she became the vice president after she was 50. So if it was 30 under 30 Forbes, she would not be there. 40 under 40, she would not be there. 50 under 50, she would not be there. But guess what? When it is time for you to be listed in that place where it matters to your glorious destiny, your name will not be eluded. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what they try to call it, but my God will bring you there in the name of Jesus. If you are expecting something and you believe that you are receiving it this morning, I want you to stand to your feet and begin to declare. You say, Father, every connection that I need to be able to achieve that which you have made ready for me, I walk into them this morning in the name of Jesus. As they see me, they would have compassion over me. The grace to stay receptive, to be under their mentorship. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I have come with a heart that is expectant. I believe that your thoughts towards me are good. To give me a hope and a future. I know that your thoughts concerning me is to give me my own expected end. I receive my expected end this morning in the name of Jesus. I say I receive my expected end this morning in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I hear this in my spirit and I want to quickly say it to you. You need to make peace with your past. Make peace with your story. Some people, if they give us, um, you know, pen, eraser, we will erase the things that matter to our glorious destiny. If it is for Moses' mother, her, she would have prayed that the king will not give any rule that will make them want to kill the child. And if the, the king did not give them any rule to kill the child, there will not be reason for the child to be packaged on the pool. And if she had prayed that the king's men, the king's family should not see the child so that they will not identify the child as the Hebrew child, the princess mentor, Kabo Shatayaba, will not have been able to mentor Moses for where God has prepared him to do. Listen, everything you need to go through, even if you are praying against it, in the name of Jesus, the grace of God speaks for you right now in Jesus' name. The grace to be able to see the reason why you are going through it. May God give to you right now in the name of Jesus. Guess what? When it was time 
for Moses to do all that he has been trained to do. He lost peace. He was already in his comfort zone. He was already identified as an Egyptian. But he was born of a slave and his people are the Israelites. So he lost his peace. God now sent him my God will make sure that people in leadership lose their peace so that you can get your desired results in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, bo, bo, bo. Things have kept you enslaved for too long. I decree and I declare that there is a shaking in the highest places right now so that you can receive your own glorious future in the name of Jesus. Oh, why don't you give God praise? Give God praise. Give God praise this morning. Give God praise. Father, Lord, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. If there be anyone this morning who is expecting something, Lord, we decree and declare that the grace to be able to wait and trust you and believe in you. Father, give to them this morning in the name of Jesus. And as they wait, as they believe, as they keep asking, seeking and knocking, Father, Lord, deliver it to them, O oh God. And we promise, oh God, that all the glory will be returned back to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.